Here's a backstory on how these SMR salesmen work, these nuclear salesmen, these men with big money. Now, our Democratic politicians here in Oregon were bought a long time ago. They don't like to speak to it, but on the bright side, they got millions of dollars invested in the state of Oregon to do small modular reactor designs in a partnership with our university and a big multinational corporation that can buy the college a new building or something. This, this is the quid pro quo that comes with this. This is the same type of thing where Reed College got a nuclear reactor. If you look into the background of how and why that was done, it was like a slap in the face to progressive education back in the day. It was to silence that university and to humble them. So you still see there's nothing really around that nuclear reactor in their educational venue. Although they do have some sciences there, but they don't brag about that nuclear reactor in the middle of Reed College. So that's some old subterfuge. It has, goes back way back in time. And the original Reed College, which was very progressive, and what Reed College is now, which is a progressive, subdued university. So the reactor worked. It did its job in that university and quelled some of the nonsense because people can't talk to it. They don't even understand what it is right next to them. Although that one's not overly dangerous, it still is dangerous. And it's managed by students. Go figure that. But here's what happened in Oregon. Oregon was infested, it still is, with nuclear salesmen a few years ago. And what they did is they went around to a bunch of face-friendly Republican kind of senators and ignorant, not ignorant, not well-informed or trained politicians and said, we have an idea. We're going to let a county decide if it wants a nuclear reactor. That was the law they tried to enact, that a single county could decide it wanted a nuclear reactor regardless of the feelings of the people around them. So that one county is going to be promised a couple million dollars a year in taxes, right? It's going to pay for stuff. They will sell their soul for those jobs. And they don't care. They're oblivious to it. They don't care that they've just put their whole county and the 10 surrounding counties at risk. Look at safecast.org radiation map of Japan. That's what nuclear fallout looks like. That's an increased risk of cancers for everyone in the area, period. Period. There is no question about that increased risk. It's how bad is the risk. Is it one person or is it 10,000 people? Do we need one hospital bed or do we need 10,000 hospital beds? Or do we ignore it because it's an additional cost to add the hospitals near that nuclear plant or the roads to be able to evacuate that nuclear plant properly? So these people don't care. They don't care that the nuclear waste is going to sit on that site till the cows come home. We're going to keep making more and more of it with no place to go. You hear all the waste in the country would fill, fill a football field three stories high or some deadliest materials on the planet. You can't store them that close. That's a, a that's just a bullshit analogy or comparison. You can't put the fuel that close together because you'll have another nuclear reaction. It will go critical with that density. So it has to be spread out. There is no choice. It has to be contained. There has to be ways of moderating how much it can interact with each other. So that football field gets spread out over square miles underground. Look at the designs. Look at the effort they're putting in. You can find these deep sequestration projects across the globe trying to find a way to keep this waste from ever escaping for the rest of humanity's life. And we've got oh, social bullshit. Oh well. 
So this is how they work. They will go around individually. They will give to senators and to, to congressmen and to politicians at every layer of the framework because it's cheap. They can put twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars into a single state is enough to sway votes and personalities because they can present this stuff. They can walk in doors that we can't get into and speak to, and we will never know what happened. So Oregon almost got SMRs two years ago. It was stopped. But if people hadn't been made aware, the media had not brought this up at all. The media did not know that this shit was being sold, even though we shut down a nuclear power station. Trojan power station was shut down and thrown away. Its nuclear waste is still sitting there waiting for something to do. We pay tens of millions of dollars a year in taxes to watch nuclear waste rot at Trojan. Where's that? The waste is, where's that? Where do those millions of dollars go? That's your taxes. You're paying. You should know who's paying for Trojan still decades later in their taxes. That's profits for somebody. How is that profitable? Help me out here. Where's the uh, true conversation about a nuclear life cycle? We can do better. We've seen it with alternative energy sources. Yes, you know what the problem is? Those take people. This nuclear plant, they think they're going to have like 10 operators at this plant. When something goes wrong, what the hell, who's going to take care of it? Where's the backup stores that are supposed to be built across the nation from the lessons of Fukushima? They stopped that. The lessons of Fukushima disappeared. They're not, they could give a shit. Every plant puts a trillion dollar liability on the area surrounding it. Every single plant that limited liability corporations got no liability. The people that are wallowing in the money on the top side that are handling handing dollar bills out, Jeffrey dollars out to politicians. That is nuclear. And you can't have an honest conversation because People are getting their fifis hurt everywhere by stuff and fifis and, oh my gosh, social churn. Do we really need this much social churn? Or is somebody bringing this to us just to cause problems? Uh, in the background, fuck you, Newt Gingrich. Moral majority and you, you cretins that are destroying... America, piss off, we see you.